Hello everybody, welcome to my RuneScape Chronicles Prepare to Dice Part 18 already. Man, this series is also progressing pretty fast. Um, what I want to get done in this episode, um, I want to work towards invention even more. So this episode I'm going to try and push my smithing as far as I can, do as much cash as I can to just unlock that as soon as possible. Uh, for the rest, I really don't know. I'm probably just going to farm a couple hours at Bandos and Armadale, try and make some progress on those sets. The occasional God Wars Dungeon too, to try and get some more nice drops over there. And the first thing that I want to do right now is if we take it back to my screen, I want to go do the achievement set for Cirrus Village because um, I can almost do everything up until like this one thing stopping me from doing everything up until hard is Scorpion Catcher Quest. So if I go do that real quick, I can do the tasks up until hard. And then for Elite, there's really not much left but 85 Fletching, uh, which is five levels away, and then 92 Herblore, which is six levels away. So the Elite tasks can be done later on by boosting. But for now, I just want to get the hard tasks done and enhance my Excalibur. Before doing the quest, I came to the museum to turn in five of my effigies into experience lamps since they're pretty far away. I'm going to put them all on Herblore. And why I'm actually recording it is because of the third lamp should actually give me a level up to... Yeah, there it is. 87 Herblore. Awesome. What does that unlock? Uh, super adrenaline potions. Pretty cool. Replenishment potions. Uh, hmm. This might actually be cool to buy the recipe for. Oh, that was a super easy quest. <laughs> it's done, Scorpion Catcher. One quest, one extra quest point, and I believe we should talk to him now about battle staffs. Uh, let's make fire battle staff. Yeah, sure, okay. Now it's a mythic fire staff for Alking. Uh, it cost me 40K, but still, that's pretty cool. That's one task down, so now I'm gonna do the task set. All right, so I finished the hard task set, which means we can rub this lamp for 10k herbal XP. The experience is absolute shit from these tasks, but still, if I talk to her, wait, Excalibur, you'd reward me. Shall be rewarded handsomely. All right, so now it's an enhanced Excalibur, and it's an offhand, so that's really nice, actually. I don't know what tier this is. Uh, I can look that up, what tier enhanced Excalibur is, but if I'm right, I can activate four Camelot and then it starts healing, but I'm not damaged right now, so I can't test that out. But yeah, it does actually start healing. For how long? I have no idea. But uh, this is pretty cool. This is really going to help out in PVM, so I'm going to bring this thing with me a lot. Oh, whoa. So I went here for the first time and my god, this is so fast. The experience per hour here is actually nuts. And there it is, 85 attack. I can now equip, oh wait, Balance Strike, that's pretty good. Uh, Tatsukatana, I actually might make these from ports that they look really cool. Lava Whip, Dragon Rider Lance, Fury Blades, that's the stuff that we wanted. So now we have this goal completed. Uh, I might as well switch this stuff to Strength and stay here for a little bit because this XP is not bad. And ooh, I also made a, a Crystal Helbert, paid 1 million for it because I had a, a Weapon Seed. So that's pretty cool as well. Can maybe upgrade this to an attuned Helbert for level 80. Unless, of course, we get a, a Dragon Rider Lance at God Wars Dungeon 2 one of these days. Then that would obviously mean that we were going to get that. So this is now my best melee setup with a tier 85 main hand and a tier 72 offhand, actually. The Excalibur is tier 72, which is which pleasantly surprised me, actually, because that's now my best offhand sword. So that's pretty cool. I even made a whole special skill bar just for uh, dual wielding abilities. And this is supposedly the most optimal one. If you guys think something should change here, then let me know. Uh, I have as thresholds assault, destroy and flurry. And my ultimate is of course berserk. Um, I'm actually gonna go try this out at my Slayer task at Elves and after that I'm probably gonna do a hour of Bandos because now that we have good melee weapons, I want better melee armor. So uh, let's go to the Elves. Wow, alright, so I had a Corrupted Creature Slayer task and it's actually at the, in the dungeon in the city next to Manifas, Soprandum or, or something and I'm actually gonna kill a couple more and then I'm gonna put these on Prefer. I got Keys of the Crossing for the Magister. <laughs> Uh, let's see how many of those I can save up until like 115 Slayer I think it is before you can actually kill him or 105 I don't know I'm just saying stuff but damn this task is amazing you see all this stuff right here that I've received drops but they don't actually fall to the floor it's because they get saved up in this giant treasure chest so 
that is uh, pretty damn awesome. I'm gonna let that chest sit there for a little bit and then see what we ended up uh, at the end of the task. All right, so here we have three more mobs left before the end of the Slayer assignment. And there we go, level 90 Slayer with only two mobs left to go. That's zero. So I got two crease at the crossing, like I just said in the last clip. Uh, what's this actually? Magister's journal? All right, whatever. I'm gonna go check what's in this chest after just one task here. Whoa, look at this shit. Wow, 182k, even though I spend uh, 1500 gold per kill here uh, for the feathers over here. Even though I have the perk that saved some, uh, only one was saved. I have no clue what this is. What's a vital spark? Uh, I'll look that up, what that is. A lot of gold bars, earth talismans, uh, loop key, what the fuck? This is RDT, I guess. Oh uh, man, that's awesome. I'm gonna bank all of this. So bank all and then I'm gonna go get a new Slayer task. And then next task, we're probably gonna hit level 94 HP, pretty cool. All right, so I have done some dailies because they were piling up. I let and catching Imps one disappear. So that's why there are five right now. I'm gonna turn these two in. I'm gonna do this one when it's actually half an hour. I'm gonna do this one once I've created the perfect Juju smithing potions because they go hand in hand. So let's just turn these in. Hopefully get a level. Uh, magic short with 60k fletching. That's so good. Ugh. Anyway, no level. Kind of expected that. And I get like all of my magic locks back. Holy crap, that's cool. All right, well, I'm going to go do some bossing. Before that, we actually get our second ports uh, hero from Slayer, the assassin. Pretty cool. Does that mean I get more scroll missions and stuff every day? I hope so, because that would be cool. Hey, look at that, hitting 95 constitution while on the Ziliana Reaper assignment. Nice. This uh, is actually the hardest boss in this fucking dungeon. I swear, Ziliana hits so damn hard, it's stupid. Ooh, later that trip, level 90 defense. Oh boy, and defense is actually my favorite skill cape. I remember back in the day when I played like the old runescape, I think it's like 10 years ago when they freshly released skill capes. That one was my absolute favorite. It was so good. And we're getting close. We're almost halfway there. <laughs> now we're over at Ziliana. Man, this boss sucks ass. The only good thing here is like unicorn horns. All right, so something has happened that I'm actually quite proud of. <laughs> um, Ziliana was the Reaper from yesterday and I got another one today for Vindicta. And I was like, you know what? I'm actually gonna try and solo this dude. So this is actually exactly what I've been doing and it's going pretty well and I even got an essence on my second kill. So fucking hooray, let's keep going. So what I just did here is I have completed all of Doric and Boric's tasks, I guess you could say. Uh, completed what's mine is also Doric's. So that's actually the name of the achievement. And what that does is we can check this amulet it has stored up some bonus experience that we are going to put into the click well here. Please do not misclick for mining. Put it on smithing. Bam. 183,000 bonus experience in smithing. Wow, that's going to help us so much. Yes. All right, so I spent most of the bonus experience I got in the smithing. Still got a, or I think I used like 144K. Still got 40K left. And we actually also finished a daily. Uh, wait, that's not the daily dude. Uh, that's not the daily dude. That's the daily dude. So let's turn that in. And this should be a level. Adam and daggers. Yep. There we go. 78 smithing. Very nice. So we went from 75 to 78 and we still have 40k left. Uh, I know that right now I can do Agaroth and get some more bonus experience in there. And I can also do a couple of quests for some smithing experience. So I think... Uh, 80 smithing will get that really soon and divination yeah just gonna have to keep up with the cash and do i get adam back no i get runite ore well that's fine too hey we need more adamant ore and i heard general grador is a pretty good drop source for uh for all the ores that we need so i'm gonna do an hour of fastest spawning instance the general grador and with bone crusher and the dragon tooth necklace i pretty much brought all of these pots for nothing yeah awesome Yes! Yes, another piece of bandos, and it's a good one. It's boots. Oh yeah, we're gonna farm ourselves a bando set so that we can actually be a true melee fighter for Rax if we ever get that uh, 
you know, Dragon Rider lands. That would be awesome. But for now, it's gonna be really good for the dual blades as well. Ah, oh, this is awesome. And fast spawning is so fast, Jesus Christ. Second hour, actually, didn't even bank. We get a, a Bando's Hilt. All right, then. I'd rather have different items, but uh, that's another God Sword at 80 smithing. <laughs> Two out of four, completed. Awesome. All right, so here we pretty much have the loot of two hours of bandos, two hours on fastest spawn instance, and let's actually check it out. Um, I'm sad I didn't check my KC before I did this, but uh, let's see, Grardor, I have killed 194. All right, I think I got like 80 to 100 kills in these two hours. So that's actually really cool. So we got the bandos, boots, pretty nice. We got a hilt. And the shield we already had, so only really the boots and the hilt. And of course, an effigy, 2k steel stuff, some nice other things. And ooh, 154 adamite. So I'm gonna do this a lot more for the adamant ore. I just called it adamite, what? Anyway, for the ore and for the melee set, we really want that. So um, this is something that's gonna happen a lot more. Whoa, fuck yeah, we got a fucking crest of Zaros. Oh yes, that's fucking awesome. That means I can use my dormant animal coil up body to make a awesome melee chest. Oh man, that's fucking cool. Yeah. Nice. And that's my Reaper done. Very nice. Alright, so I am about to attach my Crest of Zeros to my dormant animal core body. So Without any further ado, let's just do it. Yes, I want to combine these things. Surges with power. Anima, core, body of zeros. Now let's see how that looks. Oh, that's actually pretty fucking cool. Wow, that's really cool. All right, now let's see how this looks with the rest of my armor set. So this is the rock shell pieces I still have. Ugh, fucking legs. This is the bandos that I have, the boots and the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the cape. <laughs> oh wait, you can't see that now. Anyway, and we got the dual blade. So this is my melee setup right now. Getting pretty, pretty strong actually. Oh man, this is gonna be cool. Now I really want to go do something with melee. Hey, level 92 defense. Halfway there, like the achievement said. Oh, I messed it up. Anyway, I got three clue scrolls here. This is the elite one, got an ancient body. That's really cool. That's an unfortunate uh, component for the future. Open up the heart gasket now. And we get, oh my God, two more fortunate components. I have a reroll, not, oh no way, I don't even have a reroll. All right, so that's three fortunate components so far and let's get some ranger boots or a Robin Hood hat from the medium. Sarah Doman page one. I'm gonna reroll that. Stupid as it may be. Oh, whoa, Adamant H3, Adamant H5. Wow, all right, so I don't know if these are fortunate components. I don't think so that the Addy ones are not, but wow, this is just some really awesome loot. Let's see how this looks. Oh man, that actually looks really cool. That looks badass. The magic combo, rune legs, H4, Addy blade body, H5, skirt, H3, wow. So many fortunates, if adamant counts. Oh no, I just realized I uh, messed up a recording. I messed up recording that I made the God Swords. I did a banner boost to 80 smithing. It, this was like yesterday for me, so uh, excuse me guys, but I made the Zamorak God Sword and I also made the Bandos God Sword. So for a God Sword set, we now have two out of four. That's pretty cool. And this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Like, holy shit, this is, I think this is by far, my favorite looking weapon in the game so far. This Samurai God Sword. Wow. Isn't it a beauty? So yeah, that was just a quick little update on that that I made. And uh, I'm gonna go do my Grado Reaper task right now. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go do two hours of that. Hey, hey, Bando's chest plate. That's pretty cool. Except for the fact that I just got a Zaro's chest plate. Man, this is becoming a trend. We make like the armor at uh, God Wars Dungeon 2 and then we get the drop in God Wars Dungeon 1. Ah, <laughs> that's cool though. That's another piece crossed up for the set. Awesome stuff while we were close. Oh, yeah! Thanos does it! Yes! Fuck yeah, dude, let's go! It's the second hour I'm here. Oh man, I think that's complete bandos. I think that's complete bandos. 
No, no, it's not. I need gloves. Ah, oh, wow, that is amazing. Uh, let me see this real quick before he respawns. I've killed, let's see, 335 Grador, and we're just one, one drop away from the complete set. Oh man, that makes me feel good. Oh my god, this is so cool. I haven't even looked at it yet, how it looks, but uh, look at this stuff. We get... Bam! Now, doesn't this look like full bandos to you? Like, just missing the gloves, that's fine though. And with our swords here, let's actually grab them. That's cool. This is a pretty awesome melee setup that we have going right now. So if we get a lance, I'm definitely racks ready. But uh, the one part about this is we're going to look like this since this is actually better than the Bando's chest plate. But uh, I'll take it nonetheless, even though Bando's chest plate has prayer bonus and the bonus between them is not even that big. It's only four strength difference. So I might actually just use this one and this one just, I don't know, alternate between the two of them. But oh man, this looks so badass having Bandos on the Iron Man. Man, that's so cool. So much more lucky than the Samurai armor set. Ah, I have to use my very last Slayer token here for an Abyssal Demon's task. Uh, I have no more Zero for Slayer VIP tickets. So I guess I finally have to go do some uh, cabbage paste, sponge, bananas. Okay then. <laughs> Slayer task. And we got an Abyssal Whip. Wow, that used to be like the best item in the game. I remember when I, I had that on my first account, I was like, wow, I have an Abyssal Whip, and it was like the best, and I couldn't even equip it, but I had it. And now I actually have it, and I have a way better weapon in my hand. So, yeah, got an Abyssal Whip. And, oh, let's uh, see how much uh, the kill count is for that. Uh, Abyssal Demons. So, in 500 and, what is it, like 14 or 16, what it was? Like, that's pretty cool. We got a Whip. Awesome. Oh, well, got the reward straight up. Did another heart glue. Uh, we get, ooh, two more fortunate components. That's just awesome. I don't think I'm going to reroll this since there's two fortunates in here, but... Ah, uh, there might be a die on the other side. All right, hang on. I'm going to ask the clan what they would do. <laughs> All right, I'm keeping it. I got a Reaper assignment today for Hellware, so I'm gonna go do that solo for the first time. I hope that's gonna work out and maybe we'll even get the wand. That would be amazing. So I've been spending some decent time at the Artisan's Workshop. We are 103k away from level 80 smithing. We used up all the bonus experience from Doric, uh, Doric's tasks. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, I have 60 respect again. Uh, I didn't show any of this yet, but you can basically turn in your respect for rewards here. So I'm doing the rewards for uh, being a quick learner, budding student and master student. This way I'll get uh, more experience from following the lessons, which I pretty much do like 80% of the time. But I'm almost out of ores, so I probably won't hit level 80, but I think there's a couple of quests that we can do that'll give us a decent chunk of smithing XP. So that will probably be done with a quest. All right, so I looked up some quests with rewards and looks like King of the Dwarf is the best one to do uh, at the moment since it gives 50k smithing XP. So when I was done with all my ores, I had 75k left to level 80. Then I just mined some iron and I finished it to uh, fall below 50k. So doing King of the Dwarfs is gonna level me up to 80 smithing. Alrighty then, King of the Dwarfs complete, Veldeban is king, that's pretty awesome. And there is 50k smithing experience together with 45k mining and 55k strength and a new gravestone option. Well, we'll be using that. And there is level 80 smithing, finally unlocking the level for invention. That is pretty cool. And not much else really, well we can make god sword blades now without boosting. Um, but yeah, the invention thing is pretty much the biggest. And we also get a mining level, unlocking nothing. So cool, that's another thing to cross off the progress slate and now all that there is left is actually divination. And with the cash daily, I should get that in like two days or something. All right, when we exit this cash, we will get level, if I'm right, I hope I'm right. <laughs> yeah, there it is, level 78 divination. So only two more to go and then we have invention. And ooh, we can make signs of life now. I'm gonna go make a couple of those. All right, so we got another Raids loot. Let's uh, see what it is. The Beastmaster, and it's a lot of Lantadimes. Man, I wish I could reroll this. I really don't need Lantadimes. These keys might have some nice augs though. Oh well, it's something. Well, and there is level 79 Divination. Only one more to go, and yeah, look at my inventory. I am actually collecting energies instead of doing caches. <laughs> it's slow, but I'll get to 80 this way as well. Time for some more solo Vindicta since I have a Reaper task to kill 14 of them. So let's get a lance. 
<laughs> All right, so I finished 16 kills in there. Uh, even went past my aura to finish up the Reaper assignment. This is what my loot is from this time. So a lot of diamonds and a lot of magic locks. Nothing really that good. And maybe I'll be doing some more Furies later. Um, I just got an Elder Seed from this chest here. I don't know if that's the super rare thing that people are always after. Or was it the Crystal Tree Seed? I think it's the Crystal Tree Seed that people are after. But man, an Elder Tree Seed, that's the first. Nice, that's my second piece of my Vampirism scroll. That's uh, very nice. And I also have the new region unlocked, so I can now start gathering the metal plate. That's pretty cool too. Alright, I think this is it guys. I think this is it. After we offer up these six chronicles, we should... Oh yeah, there it is. Level 80 definition. Awesome, good stuff. Alright, so now we have unlocked invention. That's pretty darn cool. And I think this is a good moment to end off the episode right here. That's really cool. The next episode, we're going to get really hard into the uh, invention grind, I guess. It's going to be some kind of an invention special, probably. But yeah, if we take a look at the progress slate, um, this is what we started with this episode. And this is everything we have gained in this episode. Almost the complete set of bandos, which is absolutely ridiculous. The luck on that is really good since we have no dupes at all. And we only need the gloves for the full set. Now, I don't want to jinx it. It's probably going to take like 700 kills now to get the gloves, but oh well. And of course, we have unlocked invention. So that's really cool. So for the next episode, guys, we're going to do a whole lot of invention. And thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Bye-bye.